have such sights to you. Welcome to Nightmare on Earth. I can control myself. Hey, what's up guys? This is Josh from Nightmare on Woodsboro Lake. Good morning, y'all. This is totally not my usual space that I'm in. Um, but I decided to do this review kind of spur of the moment. Um, now this film came out October 11th of 2022. Uh, and that is the Spirit Halloween movie. Um, I've been wanting to see this forever. I don't know, I just, it kind of fell off my radar for a while. Um, but you know, it has a lot of young, like, less known actors in the film. There was a few that I recognized. Um, most notably, Christopher Lloyd, um, as our main, like, antagonist of the film. Um, just a spoiler-free rundown real quick here before I jump into the spoilers. Uh, this film revolves around three best friends who are um, in middle school, about to be become high schoolers. They're struggling with like the change. Like one's trying too hard to be Mr. Cool, like you know, stepping in as a freshman. The other one's kind of like, eh, but he doesn't like like confrontation. He doesn't want to like be in the middle of his friends. Uh, and then the other one is struggling with the change. He wants to like trick or treat and he's struggling with his family at home, having a new stepdad and stepsister, um, which we can all relate to uh, in some form or another. You know, when someone new comes into your family and then you struggle with accepting their new role in your family, it can uh, be tough. Um, but them just all struggling with that and kind of like doing like a last ditch effort Kind of like, well, let's do this for Halloween. Come on, please. Like, you know, and so they all decide to spend the night in the Spirit Halloween store. Um, and from the trailer, I think if I can remember correctly, it was so long ago that I did a review on the trailer or a reaction. Um, like the stuff starts coming to life in the, in the Spirit Halloween store. Um, and they must survive the night here in this Halloween uh, Spirit Halloween store. Um, but yeah, that's just the like the spoiler-free run-through here. Uh, now let's dive into some spoilers. Um, so the film kicks off. <laughs> it says a very long time ago. <laughs> they didn't pick like a year. Um, Christopher Lloyd's character comes to like cash in on this property and. I think it's like an orphanage home, is from what I remember. Um, and he's like, you know, a total prick. Kind of reminds me of his character a little bit in uh, Roger, oh, Frame Roger Rabbit. Um, and mad respect for Christopher Lloyd. Dude's been killing it for so long and just being awesome. I've always loved him. Um, but yeah, so he's trying to like get this land. They don't want to give it up. And then ultimately he pisses off this witch um, who, you know, strikes him down essentially dead. And so his spirit um, is coming alive in these toys at the Spirit Halloween of all these friends are um, spending the night there. Um, but kind of touching a little bit more on what I was saying before about the, the kids, you know, and, and growing up and struggling, you know, we all know people like that, like that, you know, you try so, oh, you have that one friend who's like trying so hard to fit in with everybody and the one that's like, no, I want to be true to myself. And then you do, I, I've had so many friends that are just passive that like you say something like, yeah, and like somebody else says something like, yeah, like they don't want to formulate an opinion of their own to appease everyone around them. Um, so there's like this 
strange, di there's this like really rough dynamic between the three. Um, and, you know, the one, the main protagonist of this film, who's the one that's struggling the most with change, um, I think his name was Jake, he, um, his father died, and he is just not wanting to accept, like, that his mom has moved on with her, his stepdad, um, you know, he has all these old traditions that he did with his dad, and he feels like those are changing, and, like, this little stepsister that he has, which is, she's the cutest little darling, like, I felt so bad for her the whole film, I was like, like, bro, just give her a chance, she loves you, you can see it, she just wants to be close to her new brother, and it's so heartbreaking, um, you know, and I, I felt that too, like, when I was, like, a, a young preteen and teen, like, I was a lot rougher on my brother, my stepbrother, or half-brother, um, was my stepbrother because he came from the same mom. Um, my half brother, um, and he just wanted to be just like me. He wanted to do everything I did, and I wasn't always the nicest to him, and I felt really bad about that. I've apologized a million times since I've gotten older, um, but that was another struggle to watch. And so, but yeah, they do this last ditch effort to spend the night in the spirit Halloween, um, only for Christopher Lloyd to start embodying these animatronics and they're trying to get into one of their bodies because on like the anniversary like certain anniversary of his death like he can embody someone else and eternally like take over their soul and their body and become them um and so he's attacking them as these animatronics and they're fighting like to survive the night against against him um and trying to figure out a way to stop stop him and stop this from happening and it's a cute like kids movie you know it's it's it was rated pg-13 which i was surprised um well kind of pg to me but um the cute halloween kids movie i think you know they a lot of these get overlooked um and you know when you have a family you know it's just fun to watch some of the ones that aren't over the top, like, you know, I love my horror movies, like, I love my slasher films, zombie films, creature features, like, um, you know, I'm not really in it for the gore, I'm, I'm in it for, like, the storytelling, and that's not always the case with horror movies, but I do like good jump, I, I'm not jump scares, I like the adrenaline that comes from watching horror movies, too, that's another thing that draws me to them, and just, like, that eerie feeling of, like, Red and just there's so many things that draw me to horror and it's not exactly gore um, I might receive hate for that but everybody likes movies for different reasons and you know mine just happen to be a little different um, but you know like the there's like some fun ones they might not always be like the, the top of the, 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 the cream of the crop but like you know like what is it, The Curse of Bridge Hollow or something that was on Netflix, that one was pretty decent, you know, and then you got this, and, um, you know, even, like, the kid, like, the Goosebumps, that they kind of, like, tailored to, like, this generation, but yet it still, like, has the nostalgia factor of, like, the original Goosebumps that we all grew up as kids loving, you know, I like films like that, too, um, so I definitely enjoyed this for what it was I mean was it like a this huge Hollywood blockbuster no but it was worth the watch I enjoyed it I would watch it again um, it is available for free on Tubi um, so if you haven't checked that out I'd recommend at least giving it a watch for the heck of it um, you may like it you may not like it you know um, but yeah um, Leave me a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts were on the film if you've seen it. Um, if you go and watch it after watching this review and uh, want to let me know your thoughts on it after giving it a, a run through, I'd love that. Love to hear that as well. Um, if you do like my content, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It would mean the world to me that you join the Nightmare in Woods for Life family. And uh, I do have a new Indiegogo out for my next film, Nocturnum, which. You know, I've got...
so many people interested in cast, crew, like, this one's gonna be big. My other films have always been essentially pretty much solo, and just me running things, shooting things, acting, all that stuff. But this is my, full, my first, like, feature film that's gonna be, like, something bigger than it's ever been. And I would really love any help that I can get um, for this project to help bring it to life. You know, I have so many fun stories to tell, and I, I really want to share my, um, my ideas out with the world, you know? I've grown up my whole life loving film and loving horror movies, and I have so many stories to tell, and I would love it if you could help me kickstart that. Um, so I will leave a link to my Indiegogo, um, below in the, in the description, um, and if you wouldn't mind um, <laughs> helping me along that journey, that would be fantastic. I will have perks for this movie. I will have like signed props and posters and you know, backer credits and all that stuff. I'm gonna. This is gonna be a full fledged thing. Um, so yeah, thank you guys again so much, um, and you know for tuning in and listening to me. Um, it always means the world to me. So, um, as always, my friends, keep killing it out there, and just remember, don't get caught.